Hello there. Brexit came into effect three years ago and was the beginning of a never-ending misery in the United Kingdom. It costs 4% economic output per year and results in 3% additional inflation. And little is left of the initial euphoria. And according to opinion polls, a majority of Britons wants the EU back. An open letter to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, signed by 75 British zoos and aquariums, shows that's also damaging to the preservation of rare wild animals. Although the animal rights activists want to abolish these facilities, which are said to be animal prisons, which is idiotic, they actually play an important role in protecting species. Zoos are intertwined with breeding programs for endangered wild animals around the world. And there are also animals that are extinct in the wild, such as the Mexican Socorro pigeon. There are over 850 such projects in the UK. Before Brexit, they exchange breeding stock an average of 1,400 times a year. Last year, it was just 211. Since Brexit, special animal transport companies now have to be certified in both the UK and the EU, which drives up costs. It's easier to send animals to Australia or the United States than to France. That was said by Graham Dick of Durrell Zoo, a zoo in, on the Channel Island of Jersey off the French coast. And before Brexit, it cost £1,000 to bring a gibbon to France. Now £8,000 would be due, as Dick told the Times. With the increase in bureaucracy, it's difficult to move the same number of animals, he says. And uh, no, that was said by London Zoo's uh, zoological director Malcolm Fitzpatrick, and he told the Times as well that was the point. The situation harms endangered wildlife and contradicts the goals of the Montreal Conservation Agreement of December 22. Before Brexit, the London Zoo sent 400 animals a year. In 22, it was only 38. Because there is no agreement between the EU and the UK, the transfer of a golden lion to Marin, an, an endangered species of monkey, was delayed by 17 months. It took a month longer to export a giraffe to the Czech Republic. Other facilities reported similar problems. It took 10 months to negotiate all the formalities for a bison reintroduction program, said Mark Haben of the Wildwood Trust. We are in the middle of a climate and extinction crisis. Nevertheless, we are hampered by bureaucracy, said Happen. It's ridiculous, he said. Since Brexit, exchanges between the island and the EU have fallen by 85%. For example, Asiatic lions, Amur tigers, rhinos or bisons are affected. And since Brexit, there have been a variety of import and export regulations that do not apply within the European internal borders. The zoos report that the approval process can now take up to 17 months. Make no mistake, reads the letter to the Prime Minister. Three years after Britain left the EU, the red tape paperwork is still threatening the conservation work of this country's world-class zoos and aquariums. In the name of species protection, the British government should find a solution together with the EU Commission. And once again, we see, even in, on topics you don't expect it, Brexit is a gift that keeps on giving. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.